Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. Oh, no, <laughs> that was a weird noise. I was going to say, oh, I don't know, you know, this place, it looks pretty good. I, I like the look of this place. If you honest, this looks like a nice place to, you know, it's like, uh, oh, you could be like on one of those like, uh, one of those like, not sleigh rides, but like a wagon ride at a farm and whatnot. That'd be nice, riding one, like a horse drawn wagon down this road. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Now, where do we have horses and wagons? We don't see any horses or wagons. Um, I didn't really consider too much where I thought this was going to be. Um, I mean, for whatever reason, I'm getting like a, like an England-y feel out of this. But it could also be in a North America. It's very hard to guess where this could be. Do we see? I don't really see anything with the farms. I don't think we're in like Scandinavia. We could be, though. I'm going to go and guess... I'm going to go and guess England on this one, actually. Uh, England, um, you know, right right under Sheffield, right there near Chesterfield. Beautiful, beautiful couch. Wrong. Southern France. You know, as far as guesses go, it wasn't that bad. You know, it was better than guessing, uh, you know, Scandinavia, where I could have guessed, or North America. So, there you go. We were actually in southern France, just south of Toulouse, uh, right near, um, uh, sure, Mayreville. Well, very cool. Hopefully some of you guys got France. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. Now, you might be wondering why the heck are we in the old retro version here? Well, there's a reason for that. As I said in yesterday's episode, as it turns out, uh, photospheres are no longer um, going to be appearing in random world playthroughs. So if you play through the game like a normal person would, not for our purposes, but only for uh, playing it through normally, you won't find any photospheres uh, appearing at all. But they do appear in the retro version of the game, so... Um, that is why, for choosing the Daily Challenge, I'm going to be, uh, doing it in the retro version from now on. Thank you so much, uh, Neil Sylvanus. I believe it was you who told me that. Good tip. It took me one refresh to get this location, and there you go. Here we have it. We got a lighthouse over here, a big body of water, something going on here. There's a little bridge. Oh, there are two little bridges. That's interesting. Uh, we got more coast, someone taking a selfie, and more coast well that is definitely interesting hopefully some of you guys can figure out maybe where in the world this is and if you have any idea put your guesses down in the comment section below in tomorrow's videos comment section i'm gonna guess well i'm gonna guess i'm going to announce the winner whoever the person the guest closest in tomorrow's video i'm gonna guess where i think this is so you guys can all make fun of me for how terrible my guess is going to be so if you have any idea where in the world this is tell me where in the world do you think we are right now? Okay, here we are back in the main section of today's video, and my god, look at this place! Another awesome photosphere that we got right off the bat. My god, I'm going to be using the retro version of GeoGuessr for the daily challenge for sure from now on, because this is also a super cool area. There you go, where is this? Uh, it doesn't really matter, you know, just click over here in the water. Uh, where are we actually? Wow, we're up in Finland. That was really cool. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. So, um, now it is time for the main section of today's video, which today it is a viewer challenge, one uh, brought to us by Mr. Good. Thank you so much, Mr. Good, for uh, this challenge. Super excited to do it. Now, there's no theme on this one other than it came with the message, bruh. So, thank you so much uh, for this one. Um, now, if you guys are interested in creating your own custom challenge out there and you want to make your own, look down at the description below to find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send it to me. It's super easy, and I would absolutely love to do them. So always keep your challenges coming. I do them every day, and I always need them. So thank you so much, Mr. Good, for this one. Also, if you want to find the link to this challenge, you can click down in the description below and uh, find the link to this one. So my god, the, the, these episodes are from now on going to pretty much be all in retro GeoGuessr. Interesting. I didn't really think that would be a thing that would need to happen, but I guess it is. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Challenge accepted. Sweet. Where are we now? Well, California. There you go. California is where we are. Mr. Good, are you the one who always places us in California? Is that you? Are we just going to be are we just going to be right over here in where are we, are we going to be like in around Santa Maria? 
That's where we're going to be, isn't it? The doghouse. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Hold on. Look at that payphone. Wow. What a payphone. That could be in a movie. That's a payphone from a movie right there. We are in California, so there you go. London. Fish and chips. North-South Seafood Restaurant. And the doghouse cocktails. Wow. This is a cool place. This is massage. Something about feet over there. Santa Dominga Avenue and Santa Lucia Avenue. That's just street, so it doesn't really mean anything. Ritz Inn. Oh, this looked like the Ritz. The Ritz Paris. You guys think that this is uh, the, the Ritz Paris right here? I think it is. I mean, as far as motels go, this actually doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look that bad as far as motels go. I'm not the kind of person that likes staying um, in motels or even really bed and breakfast. I'm... I'm more of a if if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go on on a vacation, I usually just save up a little bit more and go for a nice place. I don't know. I, I like the idea of that at the end of the day, you should have a really nice, comfortable place to rest your head. You, you don't need, you don't need to have uh, ha to have like the night uh, when when you're sleeping. You should be nice and comfortable in a foreign country, you don't need that to be part of the experience either. So I don't know. I'm not the kind of person that would travel and, and go to a hostel. I mean, I know it's cool, and I could do so much more travel if I did, I guess. Uh, but, and it's definitely for some people. But honestly, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be that guy. But anyways, there you go, Howard Johnson. Maybe I'd stay, stay there. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Look at that. So it's a Howard Johnson, right? It's got a name I recognize. I don't know if I've ever been to a Howard Johnson, but there you go. Peninsula Transmission. All right, is there a peninsula we got to watch out for around here? Not not that I can really see, to be honest. Um, so I'm guessing we're Smog Test Only Center. Smog Station. Pass or free reset or free retest. Wow, okay, there you go. That's your California emissions testing thing, I guess. Maybe. I mean, there's there's emission testing here, but uh, I don't know. I've never really seen like a, a place to place to do that. There's Walgreens. There you go. What, what do we got at the Walgreens? Food Mart. I thought Walgreens was just a big pharmacy. No, no, not a grocery store. But uh, maybe they don't serve produce. Maybe they, they're talking about like bread or something like that. This is a very. Oh no! For a second, I thought that was a that's just a gas station. Seventy six. Thought it was a like a hotel or a motel. I think there are there are a lot of tourists that come here. Where are we? that so many people are coming to visit this town, wherever this is. We don't see this many hotels in a small place. This has got to be somewhere. Where is this? I, I don't I don't know. Here, this is, a, this is a peninsula right here. Monterey. Are we in Monterey? I don't think we are. It's not really a peninsula either. Um, this thing right here. Baywood Los Osos. Maybe. I yeah, I'm gonna go with that place just because I don't I have no idea why are there so many tourists that come to this place? Doesn't seem like uh, doesn't seem like the most exciting place, but there are like motels and hotels everywhere. I mean, I don't think that was one right there, but you know, you get what I'm saying. You can get Toyota Scion. Did they retire the Scion brand? Because I don't see any Scion anything. There you go, a motel Interstate uh, 280 and 380. Well. I don't really think it's going to help me too much because I can go like over here and then all I see is, oh, I'm wrong. Okay, well, where the hell is 280 and 380? Do I really want to uh, just go looking? I mean, maybe I do, but I don't think I really do want to go looking for 280 and 380. So as much as, as cool as it could be to, to look around to try and find, I mean, oh, it's an interstate though, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. 605, oh boy, I, I mean, yeah, I don't want to look for it. I'm not going to go looking at roads to try and find uh, a number. That's just not fun. Is this going to tell me, like, uh, I think it was like, a, there was like a, oh, let's go on the highway. The highway, at least the highway is going to tell me, like, uh, the highway is going to be like, okay, this is in this many kilometers. El Camino Real. That, unfortunately, doesn't really help me. Uh, I don't. Nope, I have no idea. Uh, we'll go. We'll go a little more south. Then we'll go. We'll say this is near Oceanside or something like that. Let's make the guess. And the answer was San Jose. Okay, the, really, that's the peninsula, not uh, San Francisco. Uh, the, really, that's the peninsula they were talking about, the, like San Francisco, the peninsula. 
I mean, I considered it, but I was like, nah, I don't think that's what they're talking about, but shit, maybe it is. Um, there you go. So we were in probably a place called San Bruno. Okay. Well, there you go. I guess a lot of people who are going to San Francisco don't want to spend that much money. They go down over here, and then uh, you get a cheaper time. You can uh, you rent a car, drive to San Fran, visit, you know, this area over here, Oakland, everywhere, 23, 21. Okay. Where are we? I mean, immediately California is my guess. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't really... Okay. Well, immediately California doesn't really matter. Boom, right there. Um, okay. So, where are we actually? Oh. Un... Uh... Oh. Okay, well, I was wrong right off the bat. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't really uh, pay that much attention, obviously, because uh, we are driving on the left. My God, you've done it. You tricked me. We are... We're not... Okay, Burger, Wisconsin, home of the world's best burgers, Wisconsin, state known for its burgers, I would say the answer to that is no, Wisconsin is not known for its burgers, Wisconsin, known for its cheese, cheese curds, you know, good, I'm sure there's good cheese curds in Wisconsin, there's good cheese curds here, to be honest, uh, Quebec also uh, quite known for its cheese curds here in Canada, so you know, there's no sort shortage of good cheese curds, but I will say, Twenty Wisconsin friends out there, damn. I mean, there's a lot of people who don't like enjoy cheese curds like just on their own. Let me tell you, it's real good. It's there, there's definitely something there. Sadly, not too many Ontario corner stores actually um, sell just cheese curds. You can get them at grocery stores. But not too many corner stores do. A lot of corner stores and gas stations, things like that, in, in Quebec, which is, you know, to put that into perspective, is like a like ten minute drive away, um, depending on where you are uh, in the city of Ottawa. Well, I mean, actually, a lot of places much further drive than that. To be honest, there aren't too many bridges. That's the sad part. They really need. They really need to add. I would say two more bridges in Ottawa, but at the very least, they need to add one more because it's getting out of hand. But I would say they need to add two more, to be honest. Uh, a bridge connecting Canada to Elmer. Do it. I mean, there's there's actually one close enough, but, you know, still still add, it, add another one. You know, bridge the river more times. It doesn't matter. A bridge, it's going to be good. It'll relieve traffic. Although, to be honest, well, I mean, yeah, no, there's a good highway in Elmer. It'll bring you right down. Yeah. Oh, uh, they need to reconfigure the highways in Quebec for things to work properly like that. Okay, now let's pay attention to where, uh, to how things, uh, in Gatineau. I said Quebec, I really meant Gatineau. They really need to, to fix that up for, for this all to work, to be honest. But, um, you know, if they do, it would be very good because it would relieve a lot of traffic in the downtown area, which is a big problem in the city. I mean, it's not like a huge problem, but it's like a problem people have been talking about for years. And, uh... You know, since it's a capital, they have to deal with uh, both provinces uh, and then the National Capital Commission, which is a whole nother entity. So both cities, both provinces, the federal level, and the NCC. So it's a whole load of crap to try and build another bridge crossing the river. That's why it hasn't happened. Westpac. I'm guessing we're in Australia. That's just been what I've been feeling. Where in Australia are we? I mean, I haven't really even looked at much. But we're just we're just in Australia, right? I mean, that's just that's just what it is. Uh, where are we gonna be? Uh, Perth. This is gonna be Perth. I mean, I don't really think it is Perth, but I don't really have that much to go on. To be honest, it looks kind of like Perth. It looks Perthy to me. So let's go over here. Call it. It doesn't really look like Perth. Okay, we're gonna call it Adelaide. This is gonna be Adelaide. Uh, where in Adelaide? Uh, right around here. Let's make the right around here. The guess of the answer was Auckland. Oh, shit, New Zealand. I spent too much time talking, not enough time looking with my own eyes. That feels bad. That was Auckland, really? Huh. Well, I don't know. Something about that being Auckland is surprising. Uh, 1757. Okay, well, let's do well this time. This is going to... Oh, boy, I actually... Oh, oh, okay, all right. Give me a little while. Uh, was gonna say this is going to be uh, the Netherlands then was like no this is gonna be oh wow I'm zooming into really the wrong area here this is gonna be like Florianopolis or um, yeah this is gonna be Florianopolis 
right there. I mean, with a name like that, come on, Florianopolis. There you go. This is going to be Florianopolis in Brazil. Surprising, uh, but, uh, you know, there you go. There's some, I think it's a German influence here. I think that's what it is uh, that's going on in uh, this area in Brazil. We can see we've got a Brazilian flag flying up there. <laughs> Big old clock tower. Uh, now, I guess we could find out where we are specifically. Um, uh, no, I, I don't see... Uh, if, if there is a name there, I'm not seeing it, sadly. Um, Rhea. Is, is Rhea a place? Uh, not that I can tell. I mean, it might be. But if it is, I can't tell. So, okay. Let's go down. And what can we find? Wow, this it looks... It's a beautiful city, I'll say. So it'd be a nice place to live. Uh, Ponto Frio. What we got over here? L-M-T-A-D-O. Lmtaud. Okay. And that's also not how that's pronounced, but that's fine. There you go. You got a German flag, a Brazilian flag, and then, you know, this. Sweet. Uh, what do we got around here if we go down the road? We've got more stuff. No city names, though, as far as I can tell. But, I mean, just look at I mean, look at this. Floriano. You know what? Just because of that, that tells me we are in Florianopolis. Let's make the guess. And the answer was no. It's, it's the same region. A lot of cities in this region end up looking like this. But we are in Blumino. Blumino is the answer. 3344. Awesome. Now, stop. Okay, stop signs. And houses. And, okay. Well, this is interesting. I don't really know. Just, oh, pickup trucks. Pickup trucks driving on the left. We obviously know where that is. That's going to be in um, Bloemfontein in South Africa. So that's where that is. Pickup trucks and driving on the left. There's only one place in the world that could be. I mean, it could be a lot more places. But, you know, this looks like, this looks like South Africa enough to me. So let's go with that. Oh, yeah, look at this. People driving their Nissans, everything like that. That's, man, this place looks cool. I think we're, um, okay, we are close to Lesotho here. Maybe we're in Lesotho? I mean, I said one place in the world, and now I'm saying there, okay, there's a second one. But maybe we are in Lesotho. But every time I guess it, we're never there. This is close to Lesotho, but it doesn't look like there are any mountains nearby. And there are definitely mountains here. So maybe I really should just guess Lesotho. Or maybe I at least guess something like uh, like a ladysmith or something like that, right? It's a ladysmith. There's a little bit more mountains around ladysmith. Let's go over here and see what this sign says. That's going to really, really guide us. So, George, R102. Is there a place called George? No. Uh, also, N2. Uh, okay, George, York Street, N2, uh, Pakelstrop. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I don't see it. Uh, where's this 2? There's the 2. So if I take the 431. Oh, boy. Alright, we got R's. Alright, so we're in this area, but uh, to where... Okay, right over here is gonna be... Oh, yeah, we're gonna be right here in... P, uh, Peter Maritzburg. Peter Maritzburg. That's where we're going to be. Uh, very cool. South African flag. Fantastic. South African soccer ball. Fantastic. All right. Let's go down. Uh, let's go down this way. See what else we can find. I mean, this is a really beautiful place. This is the kind of area where people... People don't think this is this is what some parts of South Africa looks like. People think South Africa. They think District 9. Uh, well, not people, but certain people, a lot of people. I mean, it's what you see. What What do you see? You don't see that much about about South Africa. I mean, there was the World Cup there like uh, four years ago, but you know, still, it it didn't it didn't look to have countryside that looked like this, uh, like that. It's it, it's a country you don't hear too much about, except for when you know you only there's, there's a lot of countries you only hear about them when something goes wrong and south africa sadly uh is one of those countries you, you only hear about very rarely and you know you don't think like hey it's a, it's a, it's a big place you know it, there's a lot of it that looks very different than what you can imagine so yeah i mean look at this place very it's like it's like lush and green and, and beautiful and 
It looks like it looks like a very normal place. And I, I honestly, that's not a perception very many people have of um, of of South Africa. So interestingly enough, there it is. Cool. Okay, let's go say we're in Peter Maritzburg. The answer was oh George. I forgot there was a place called George. There is indeed. Oh, there are mountains. Oh, okay, yeah, there are mountains here. Okay, very close in between Port, Port Elizabeth and Cape Town. I totally forgot there was a place called George. I would never have found it, but there it is. Um, very cool. Okay, this is... I mean, I don't want to say this is going to be Italy right off the bat, but it could be. Uh, I, I honestly feel like we're back in that one place in... I honestly feel like we're back in, like, we're back here. So I'm just going to click there, and we're just going to go exploring a little bit more and find out where we actually are, because I don't think we actually are there. But for whatever reason, that's where I'm, I'm feeling right off the bat. So there is somebody there made of a statue. Just the mountains in the distance. Just it looks right. What are we there? Uh... Okay, all right, that's the Argentinian flag, right? I mean, it's, it's kind of a cartoon version, but I think we might I think I might have gotten it right. Every time, hold on, are we there? I don't really know if that's the actual answer. Is that the Argentinian flag? I, I feel like I, I feel like it is, but maybe we're in a different area. I don't know. The more and more I go down here, the more and more I feel uncertain. We just saw a flag. I should be f pretty certain. That's. Yeah, it's the flag of Argentina, right? There's no, there's no doubt about that. Hopefully, hopefully there isn't. Yeah, it's Argentina. Okay, cool. So, um, now what else are we seeing? It's not much, honestly. The clouds in the background just look like the snowy mountains of that one place, but I don't really think that's where we are. I think we're somewhere else. I think we're in Argentina, but I don't think we're where I thought we were. The clouds in the distance just make it look. Like, uh, like we're where, uh, where I put us. Okay, look at that. Uh, d Doppel Zero. Look at that. There's some pictures of people. We got, I don't really know what these things are, but they look good. We got some pizza, some steak, some fries, some, like, burritos. Uh, a glass of Coca-Cola with kind of gross-looking ice cubes in it. You really shouldn't take pictures with ice cubes that look like that. You know, the ones with, like, frozen white interiors. Either, like, make yourself fake ice cubes out of plastic or just don't put ice cubes. You know, a glass of Coke looks just fine without any ice cubes in it. So, if you're going to have, like, white ice cubes, don't you don't put them in. This is not the place that I thought we were, but it definitely is Argentina. So, we got that. Wow, we have... This 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 place has uh, transformed quite a bit since where we started, hasn't it? All right, we are we're in a, a different part of town. I feel. Um, okay, wow, it's getting very dark and gloomy this way. There's a dog over here just walking. All right, well we can go down this way, and that's gonna lead us. Uh, no, it leads back to the same place. Okay, so where are we? I don't think that's where we are. So I'm gonna go up the coast, and I'm gonna go with right right here. Yeah, why not? Let's go. Let's go just a little bit more north. I don't want to go too far north. So let's make the guess. And the answer was, okay, it was a more north, but not that much more north. In Rio Grande was the answer. Twenty six eighty eight. Very very cool. So it really did. I guess there is some similarities between this place and this place. Awesome. Well, that was pretty cool. Sadly though, I really bunged it up on. Um, this guest right over here. I'm really sad that I, I, I was caught up talking. I didn't pay enough attention to what I was seeing. Uh, I really should have, because that would have made it a good round where I guessed all the countries right. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Well, we started off in California. We were interested in San Francisco. I would have put us here, but I went down more south for whatever reason. Uh, then I just guessed Australia. I was too busy talking, and it was really New Zealand. Then we were in Brazil. It was a pretty good guess. Florianopolis is not Blumenau. Uh, that, that's okay. That's fine. South Africa, close to Lesotho, is not George. Again, that's okay. What could I have done? Uh, over here, is still, that's a very good Argentina guess. So there you go. You know, pretty good guesses. Oh, 12,328. For a second, I was thinking this was going to be our final score. Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Oh, yeah. Q 
Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.